Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and this is exciting. This right here in front of me is the laser cut or water jet cut hard ox parts for my featherweight and I am so so keen. I have a tiny little camera set up over here so I can show you guys a little bit of a better angle when I go to cut into some of this stuff and get some of this stuff out but oh my god I'm so excited this is going to be so good uh, so let's just get on hacking on in there now some of the things that come out first might not actually be mine because there are some things in this order that are for a fellow uh, ARC member who is also building a featherweight he's not coming with me to ABC unfortunately but he will be fighting at uh, Adelaide or Australian Robot Wars Nationals later in September. So you get to see his robot on my channel, I'm sure, in the near future. But for now, some of these things, as I said, aren't actually for me. And it looks like the ones that aren't for me are right at the top here. So I'm just going to quickly uh, open this up and get rid of those so that we don't have a look at them. And then, we can have a look at my stuff. Oh, I'm so keen. I can see the weapon bar. Yes. This thing looks so cool. Oh, it's hard to get out of all of this wrapping that they've put it in. Yeah, okay, there we go. They are at the top, so let's just get rid of all of that. That's not mine. And that's not mine. Oh, Jesus, those are heavy. Um, yes, here we go. Okay. So... In here, this is the front wedge. This is six mil hard ox bar, hard ox bar. Look at that on that camera down there. This is gonna be our front little wedge look. We need to grind that down. That is really, really cool. Let's see if we can find some space to start kind of putting things down around the place. Um, gonna cut some more stuff out of here. Get in a little bit better. And then this one here, this one is our, uh, Top plate, this is where our motor mount goes. Our motor mount's there and our weapon mount is there, which is really, really cool. Nice. That's a little unusual. Um, that is the drive motor plate, which looks okay. There's probably got a little bit of clean up to do along these edges here. Oh, that one's weird. These cutouts didn't cut all the way out. I'm gonna have to cut those out myself, I think. I don't understand that, why? Did they not cut through? This one is the back plate, so all of these holes are supposed to be cut out of here. Uh, so it was a weight saving thing, in actual fact. I'm kind of just ignoring the big interesting piece for half a second here. And then here we go. That is the side panels, that's really cool. So that's all gonna click together. In actual fact, I'm not sure if this is gonna click together as is because it might be a little bit too big. Let's just see. Yeah, actually that. It's looking pretty good. If I get this around the right way, I'm not cut myself on laser cut edging. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, oh, there's a few burrs and bits and pieces that I'm gonna to need to get rid of to make that fit correctly. But other than that, that's looking pretty good. Oh, I've got myself a burr in the finger, but that's okay. I am totally okay with that. Here we go. Look at those, that's pretty cool. Very nice, very nice indeed. And then, here we go, onto the weapon bars. Oh, these things look so cool! Holy cow! That's where most of the weight is in this packaging. Far out! <laughs> yes, now there are two weapon bars here together. In actual fact, there's also a steel plate in the bottom of this pack, which is interesting. That's not how I would have shipped that, but I'm not the company that shipped it, so, oh, damn. <laughs> That's lots of things to carry all at once. Oh, look at these under this tiny little camera here. Ah, <laughs> yes. Well, that, uh, that thing fell over. Oh, well, oh, these bars look so cool. I am so keen to get these mounted onto a robot and spinning round. Ah! All right, let's unwrap them so we can actually have a look at an individual one. Ah, uh, and they're free. All right, three, two, one. Wow! Yes! Oh my God! <laughs> this thing is awesome. Okay, we have a lot of work to get done in this episode. Uh, a lot of it is going to be all about getting this robot back together. Lots and lots of welding. I am so keen. We're going to get this done. 
Yes! Oh, these weapons are just... Oh, this is going to cause some absolute havoc. Yes!
And there we have it. Check this thing out. Oh, it looks so good. I mean, it looks very, very similar, obviously, to the wooden prototype that we've built already. And that was the whole point of the wooden prototype. But ah, this thing, this thing looks so cool. And I've got everything actually properly fit up now, except for, I mean, there's a, a few small things that aren't quite in yet. So in this exact build right now, the base plate isn't in, the electronics aren't in, and the actual proper nut isn't in because uh, yeah, screwing down an M20 nylock nut is a pain. Uh, so I didn't do that on camera. It does work though. It's uh, yeah, the same as this. It's just, it locks down a little bit better uh, and means that things don't wobble quite as much when it's actually in play. Um, yeah, but other than that, this thing is looking good. I'm pretty happy with how everything mounts up. Uh, one small issue, currently weighing this thing right now, it is at 10.5 kilos, which means I am basically 3 kilos underweight, and batteries aren't going to fix that issue. It's only going to get up to probably about 12 kilos, which means I'm a full kilo underweight. Uh, so in the next version of this design, or the next time we fight this, we might weld some more steel to the back panel, because right now, the back panel is just 3mm steel, and then I've got 10mm uh, HDPE out the back here. Uh, for the time being though, what we might actually do is print some standoffs and then run some actual wheel guards out the back here as well, just protect these wheels a little bit more because uh, I've got the weight to do it, so I might as well. Hey, uh, it's all going to be plastic obviously, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much. All it's gonna do is help protect these wheels. Also, these wheels are gonna get changed over. These are a perfect size as they are, but I need to put bike treads on them so that the robot can actually have any grip at all. So we're going to shrink these a little bit in CAD, and then we are going to reprint them and then put bike tire on them so that they come back out to this correct size. Um, yeah. Oh, and then the big thing, it needs to be painted, which is exactly what I'm about to do now. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm pulling this whole robot down and I'm giving it a prime and a paint and giving it an actual proper paint job uh, for the competition, which is going to be good, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. If I get it right, it will look good. If I don't get it right, yeah, well, it will look something. Anyway, uh, if you're following me on Instagram, I've already put up a little bit of a quick test shot up on Instagram of the old wooden frame. I just spray painted some weird designs, testing some paint uh, schemes that I had going on. Uh, just, well, paint techniques, not paint schemes. I haven't actually decided exactly what it is I'm painting in here yet, but I have decided how I'm doing that. So I've got like three layers of paint to go down first, and then I need to work on the actual design that's gonna go in. And that'll make some sense to you if you've checked out uh, the photos over there on Instagram. Yeah, anyway, so this thing is pretty close to being done. It's about 90% right now. Unfortunately, as with a lot of different builds, it's this last 10% that is actually gonna take a bit of time just to get everything done. Like all of the paintwork needs to be done. All the electronics need to be done. There are two extra um, Lexan panels that need to go up here on the top plate, uh, just so that light comes through and the batteries are protected a little bit. I mean, the weapon is gonna protect the batteries, but the weapon may stop or break, or I don't know, something might happen to the weapon. So we need to have something protecting the batteries because uh, that would be bad if we didn't. Um, yeah, lots and lots of things need, still need to be done, but I'm goddamn happy with this right now. This thing is looking so cool. Um, yeah, really, really happy. So anyway, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. The next video, I don't know what it's gonna be because it's going to be the weekend I'm actually at ABC. So it might be a filler video, it might be a collab, but I don't know I'm gonna have time to edit that one in time. Uh, it might just be a reveal of this thing and its paint job as well as Annie, because Annie, are you okay? Is getting a paint job at the same time. I don't really know, we'll work something out. There will be a video up next week. It won't be uh, fight videos from ABC because I am definitely not gonna have time to edit all of that stuff down. Anyway, I, like I said, there will be a video next week, so I will see you in the next video.